Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, let's call it final part of the FIDU Q1S upgrade so it's almost in its uh, final shape uh, now uh, if you have seen my other videos you know that I was not very happy with the results because after all the upgrades with the battery the controller I was still keeping the stock motor and of course I wasn't expecting it to be uh, very fast but it was actually very slow although it has massive amount of torque and if you are wondering the stock motor which is 250 watts and it only has uh, uh, 36 volt rating it uh, went up very fine with a 2000 uh, uh, watts controller and with 48 uh, volts battery and it did that for over uh, 800 kilometers without any kind of issues no melting no gear destroying nothing so a very reliable stock motor and the motor has now been replaced with a hub motor this is a direct drive it doesn't have any kind of gears it's rated to 1200 watts and it works from 48 to 60 volts uh, I'm using still the same configuration with 48 volts dual battery and 2000 watts controller um, to install the motor it was uh, easy and also complicated at the same time it was easy because all I had to do is just disconnect the wires of the old uh, one and just a screw and hole sensor plug so that's easy just to unclip the zip ties cut them and release the cable pull out the old motor you need to remove the brake caliper well that was very easy but to install the new motor uh, which should be as easy as uh, taking the old motor off well it was kind of a nightmare because the new motor is wider uh, than the old motor and the fork of the Fidu it's very small and you cannot widen up uh, too much and it's also an alloy it's not uh, steel so you can crack it so it was a real nightmare just to be able to put here a tiny washer otherwise as you can see here the motor cable is already pinched the motor cable was rubbing be beside here the motor housing and uh, it was squashed between that and the opening of the rear fork so uh, it was messing up the cable so it was really really hard just to get that washer there because on the other side I was not able to put another washer but uh, that was not a tragedy because uh, there uh, were uh, plenty of space left here uh, about two millimeters between the disc brake and the fork so I had enough space just to put the disc brake back and to install the caliper the new caliper also fitted uh, nicely so everything went up and they don't touch they don't rub they work perfectly but the to put the motor here was a nightmare also the front was a bit hard to upgrade the uh, brake caliper because the original screw of the front wheel or axle was uh, broken at the factory it was cross threaded so I was not able to remove one of the nuts I had to remove only the other and uh, pull it out it was a nightmare to do that now I have installed the new brakes uh, quad piston uh, Magura brakes so uh, this also has plenty of stopping power I also planned some upgrades such as the rear shock with a much better one but uh, this one will do for now also there's another upgrade here it's a splash card because the front wheel was throwing a lot of mud from this uh, kind of sport uh, mud guard uh, there was a lot of dirt on the bag and underneath it was always uh, with water and mud and sand and dust so this one keeps the dirt away it goes around and underneath so it protects the bag from all that uh, splashes and now it's time for the test uh, for the top speed it's going to be flat out i have around 90 kilograms and i'm not carrying anything with me today just the gopro on my chest and we have here a uh, spare part of asphalt that is not used currently so there is absolutely no traffic uh, i hope that you are going to be able to see the gps here this is not accurate in case if you observe it, it's going to show something like 30 kilometers per hour uh, there's no way i can calibrate this for now there's no possible way the controller if i use the bluetooth app shows the speed correctly but this one doesn't all right so Let's start it. 
the acceleration is very good it's not like the old fidu motor that was geared but uh, definitely has a lot of acceleration and plenty of torque and i'm already doing 40 kilometers per hour 42 43 and it has stabilized around 43 43.5 And it's staying there and the brakes the brakes are simply wonderful um, and I'm not getting full speed because the battery is not 100% full but uh, with this kind of motor and controller the battery is not going to be full when you accelerate you can observe here although I'm using two better uh, batteries in parallel so both share the load and I discharge two batteries at the same time each battery is able to provide something like 30 amps continuous so I have about 60 amps uh, when I use full throttle the voltage of the batteries will register a huge drop so it jumps from almost 52 volts to 48 volts when I'm accelerating and keep it that uh, top speed so let's do that again full acceleration it almost lifted the front wheel off so it wants to do a wheelie and now I'm already at 35 kilometers per hour 40 I'm going to try to stay aerodynamic 43 and that was it so around 43 kilometers per hour it's the top speed also when you are casually cruising such as 30 kilometers per hour the voltage goes back up so that's okay but each time when you accelerate the controller responds almost instantly it drops the voltage very low but gets you very good acceleration and gets you very very fast to 40 kilometers per hour and then from 40 it goes slow to 41 42 43 and that's about the top speed of this motor but the motor has a trick if you ever want to upgrade this uh, e-bike you can just uh, now switch the battery put a 60 volt battery and this motor is compatible with uh, everything from 48 to 60 volts and at uh, 60 volts you are going to get a lot more speed more rotation speed of the motor which is going to translate in a lot more faster e-bikes so you are probably going to go over 50 55 kilometers per hour easy maybe even 60 kilometers per hour with this which personally i advise you not to do because this is tiny with tiny wheels and if you have bad roads and you get into a pothole it can end up into a disaster and now you have uh, seen how it works uh, the top speeds and my notes about it so i could not make this work to calibrate it properly uh, the app for the controller that i have uh, shown you previously on my install video that one was uh, calibrated with the app with the controller uh, and it shows correctly the odometer trip meter uh, speed uh, and so on but not the display and it's not able to be calibrated because this is a special type of display that connects to the motor one of the motor uh, phase wires so that's the signal that's how it registers it and you cannot it not calibrate it anyway it doesn't have any kind of switch button and nothing so if you need to do that you need another dashboard actually for this controller and that one is something like a big motorbike uh, display and that was too much too big for this uh, tiny bike the brake upgrade is also uh, brilliant with the new brakes fully hydraulic brakes uh, you can lock the wheels instantly you can just brake the bike only using your uh, pinky finger but uh, i haven't installed sensors because the brake levers don't have any kind of sensors so i also don't use cruise control it's okay for me for an experienced rider you don't actually need those uh, brake inhibitors for the motor if you are not doing crazy stuff 
just don't use throttle and brake at the same time because you are going probably to brake something or force the motor, force the controller and all the electrics. Uh, there is a kind of uh, add-on kit uh, but it's a do-it-yourself improvisation when you can buy a sensor that you apply over the brake lever support here and put a magnet on the brake lever you adjust the distance a bit and the sensor will feel that you are moving the brake lever and will send a signal but that means more complication more improvisation more wires and looking worse so for now it's going to stay like that so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video until my next one see you and bye bye